Hey guys, welcome back. This is Will from MachineLoveUs.com going again through this uh, project where we are building an information project essentially that is uh, a clone almost that we want to be off of Crunchbase which is uh, a place where you can go and find information about uh, new startups, discover innovative companies and the people behind them. Uh, so what we need to do to pr build our own crunch base is to get that one ingredient, that one essential ingredient, we need data. And what we started doing was coming over to this, um, we came over to this repository, this site, uh, Angel, which has a bunch of startups uh, listed out and many, many of them over four and a half million. And we scraped in the, in the past video, scraped into this text file some of that data. And what we're going to do in this video is get a little bit more complex with the scraping and set us up to eventually move this data into our own Mongo database, our own NoSQL database, where we can build other pipelines to it and then start building out dashboards and exploring this data by the, the various dimensions that we have. Uh, essentially the employees, the stage, total raised, the market. Okay, so I'm calling this intermediate uh, Salam and Beautiful Soup because those are the technologies we'll use to get this data. Okay, so you might rem recall that we had this uh, script, uh, essentially scrape.py that we built out last time and we built it out in here. And what I've done is move this over to uh, a Jupyter Notebook just to get the hang of interacting with this to do a bit more with it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, restart and clear this notebook so that I can start it from scratch, essentially. And this is the same importing WebDriver, importing Beautiful Soup, going to the URL, getting there, and waiting for the page to load so that we get the data that we want that we did last time. Okay, so now once this page has loaded, what we wanna do is be able to select, we have all of these companies and we'd be able to scrape, uh, but we'd have to click uh, more and maybe we do that and keep clicking more. Or what we could do to get more companies is click on these, these drop downs that are here and then select among them and and get companies that way okay so we're going to go the route with selenium of uh, figuring out how to get this startup button clicked and we're going to find that that is a pretty difficult thing to do one of the first things that you could do is go to i'm on chrome developer tools so you can start to see the elements here and what's nice about selenium is that you can select elements by different means. There are a bunch of different ways to select an element, but uh, one of the ways that you can do it using uh, tools, the developer tools here, instead of guessing at it. Uh, sometimes I've found Selenium has a lot of guesswork. What you can actually do is just when you hover over this to select, you can copy the XPath itself and when you copy the XPath, so that's in the develop, it's not here where I'm doing the copy, it's in the developer tools. I could do copy, and you could copy element, copy outer HTML selector. I'm going to copy the XPath. And element here, here, let me just type it out again. Element is the thing that we have selected. We have in driver, find element. Driver is the web driver that we instantiated. Find element by XPath. I use double quotes. I got to change this to a singular quote. And so uh, now what's neat about this is I have this element selected via Selenium and I can click it. And if you notice when I click it here, it clicks there, which is pretty neat. You can see if you run uh, a dir on the element, you get the uh, all of the functions and the methods, uh, essentially the methods on that element. 
which you can see you have find element by link text and you have click which is what I did I click the element you can also get the text of the element so this text is type and it has startup firm incubator private company SaaS mobile app all of these things that we can click uh, unfortunately it's really difficult I found to actually click this because it's not a drop-down item uh, it's in this filter <clears throat> so I was having a really hard time and I, I couldn't actually figure out how to click this uh, this drop-down filter so that might be something you can research and try yourself but what I noticed in doing this is that the URL up here changes depending upon the type that's selected right so it it varies in a very predictable fashion and we can use that later on to our advantage to figuring to actually having these selections uh, implemented without having to go through the filters but I wanted to show you the selenium piece right so here the page is loaded and so we can push this into beautiful soup which is what we did before and then we just wrote the entire HTML page to a text file but instead of doing that, what we want to do instead is get the results. Uh, and so what I've been able to do is get the results of using dev tools over here. You can look at the page and inspect the page and get, you start to understand the layout of the page that they've built here. And from there, you select the class that is most appropriate. And the class here that I found that is this little text box, right? This little text box of this startup is called uh, Base Startup. And on this page, there are 20 of them, uh, which is exactly what we want. So you need, to, you need to spend a little time on this to figure out the appropriate class that you want. And so what I can do here is for the, the third one, the third startup is Lyft on this page. One, two, three. It must have... Where is Lyft? Let's see. Uh, in this res in this results that we got from this page, it's Lyft. Let's see if it changes. Stitch. <clears throat> I changed the uh, I changed the filter, and so the startups that loaded changed. So the third one is Stitch. And then what you could do is you start to look, let me do this. You start to look at the structure of the HTML that's returned here, right? So this base, let's see, there's this div class value, um, joined data column location, data column market. Uh, w and it's all in this HTML that's being returned. And so we need to get it out of this HTML. Soup has this really nice uh, get text result. So you could do print result that get text, which will allow us to see that data, the, the textual data right here, but it doesn't give us anything that we'd be able to use to actually uh, work with to get into a database and that's ultimately what we want to do we want to put this data into a database so that we could work with it and pipeline add pipelines off of it and to it and so what we need to do is we need to get uh, to prep this to go into the database we need to get the individual pieces of the base startup so what are those individual pieces they are the name the pitch uh, joined so let me let me not get to this other piece just yet. Uh, and then I just put a little bracket in between the base startup so we know where one begins and one ends, right? So here's Priya Analytics, AB Testing for Stores, Woo Sports, Onboard Motion Sensor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, unfortunately, you have some deeper nesting of divs here. So what you get is Stitch and then Joined April. 14. We don't care about this join. Joined is continually repeated. So what we can do here, and the reason for this, if you look at the HTML, is that there is um, there's a div with joined in it, and then it has a value. The description is showing the value is May 
14, 2014. So what we could do is in the result we can find all we can find all of the div that is uh, joined. And we actually do that down here. We do the div that it's joined. Um, div oh div class joined and then we can print out the value you had the description in that div which you you would see when you looked at um, when you looked at the HTML you just print out the value and then I'm going to do get text because I don't want to see the HTML And so it takes a little bit of work in digging around in the HTML to get exactly the thing that you want. Okay, so it actually couldn't find join. So I did something wrong here. And the thing that I did wrong is I, I want to look at foo and not the result itself. Okay, so this, this is where I'm going to hold off uh, on this. The next time that we come back here, we're going to take these results, format them, and stick them into a Mongo database. Like and subscribe this video. Uh, let me know what you think of these projects. Uh, recommend some, and let's, let's keep building. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.